Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Let you know I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description. My video yesterday was about my e-bike getting stolen here from the campground. And um, I, I don't have any update. Um, the, the sheriff's office did get some really good video. I've never done it with this camera system, but they were able to put the thumb drive in there and take out really good HD footage from my DVR. So uh, they do believe they there's an ongoing investigation. There's been at least 10 bikes stolen from this park. It's a really, really crummy place to be at. And uh, I won't be here much longer, but it got me thinking after, so I'm actually starting this video right where the last one ended, just so you know, if it's gonna be a day later. So what had happened was I was like, trying to think about if something else weird happened. And then I remembered something, something very strange did happen last night. I'm gonna tell you about it right now. So here's what happened. Last night, around three in the morning, I woke up to what my brain and mind thought was a very loud explosion of sorts. Enough to get me outside, and I'm seen on camera outside in my boxers and no shoes at 3 a.m. with the bike missing. Of course, I wasn't looking at the bike, you know, but I'm looking around the side of the RV, think, did something just hit my RV? Did somebody run into my RV? What the heck was that? I couldn't figure it out. Took a pee, went back to bed. 4 a.m. it happened again. Boom. Stood up, went, that was inside my RV. What the heck could that possibly be? Just, just as weird two booms and I couldn't figure out what it was. But I had a little bit of heartburn, so I took some antacid. I was getting ready to get some water out of the fridge. Opened up the fridge and right here was something dripping. I already cleaned up the fridge part of it. Got me to open this up. Whether you're in an RV or a home, you recognize what's going on. Two Cokes exploded in my freezer. So I looked at this at 4 a.m. and went, just, just going back to bed. I'm just going back to bed. It's probably been three or four years since this has happened to me in my RV. It used to happen all the time because I would just be like, what, what, what was it yesterday? I got some pizza and I didn't have any cold Cokes. So I put two Coke Zeros in here to get cold. I didn't set a timer because I was literally getting them ready to drink with the pizza. At the pizza place, they actually had Coke Zero. So I got a two liter. That's what usually I will set a timer for 30 minutes and this will never happen. This is a pain in the butt, especially in an RV. So today, I get to clean my RV freezer from two exploded Coke cans. And uh, I figure it's a good time to show you some uh, fridge freezer maintenance because I do this uh, about once every six months anyway, especially in humid climates, you'll get a lot of ice buildup in the freezer. So I'll show you uh, how I do that. Actually, it's a really good timing because I don't have any perishables in here, really. Just my ketchup, barbecue, and jelly. I just drank the last bit of my milk. I got no eggs or bacon or anything. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn off the fridge and freezer and uh, start up here. I am going to grab things, move them to the sink so I can rinse them off. That's how I do it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these corn dogs though. Get these ice packs out. Put them in the cooler here. All right, and then remove the soda cans. And that's what we're left with. See all this ice? This isn't that bad, actually. Usually there'd be a whole bunch of ice build up here. I wanna get rid of this and that'll make the freezer and the fridge work better getting rid of that ice. So get my hair dryer. All right, well, I've looked everywhere for that little hair dryer. And I've run out of ideas. I don't know where it is. Anyway, in an ideal world, you could plug that in and speed this process up. Uh, however, turning it off and letting it sit here, we'll do the same thing. I'll have to come back in an hour and start wiping down all the melted Coke particles and clean up. I do have a space heater. There we go. Now we're getting some heat there. Don't do what I do, blah, blah, blah. And then once it's all melted, I don't know if there's a better way. I just use paper towels throw them in here to just kind of collect and absorb the moisture. If you have a better idea, a better way to do this, let me know. 
maybe a wet shop vac maybe i don't know but this is how i've done it although like i said it's been a while all right and then once you get it all cleaned out and scrubbed and clean make sure you get this whole rim here where it attack where the rubber attaches scrub that real good and then the rubber on the actual freezer all the way around make sure that's nice and clean and not sticky so that it gets a good seal all right then we can turn it back on and auto we could start freezing while we do the fridge same thing give it a couple hours for the freezer and fridge to get back down to temperature and then load the stuff back up in the cook i'm telling you it, it's been a long long time since i've done that but usually at least for most people going through that and spending i mean i've probably been at it two and a half maybe even three hours cleaning this freezer by the time you get to that point the next time next time you even grab a soda and think about doing this something in your mind has got to tell you wait don't do that again either don't do it or set a timer for 30 minutes and stay close <laughs> got a helicopter going up above us anyways so that's all taken care of um too bad about the e-bike but uh you know it's I also just want to say this because it's confusing to me that vi video was a, just a three minute video that was meh right number one video of the last three months now it's hard as a creator to accept that because i put out some great content november december and january some great content out there how could just a three minute video of something bad happening to me end up being my number one video in 90 days you know how do you take that as a creator I don't want to be negative, guys. I don't want bad things to continue to happen to me on the road and share those with the world. I don't. I do share the reality. I am very honest about the way things go in my life. And uh, anyway, just want to let you know, and that's why you won't be seeing an e-bike from me anymore. Okay, we covered that. Whoop.